Have you guys seen this? This is pretty wild, isn't it, right? So I don't really follow basketball too much, but I know this guy because I just see him on social media all the time. Ja Morant has, um, what you call it, been in a bit of hot bother because for whatever reason, he decided to jump on Instagram Live and brandish a gun while he's wearing this like really tight diamond choker around his neck and playing whatever music he's playing in the background. And, you know, for most kids or for most rappers and stuff, it wouldn't be a problem. But him being a professional NBA player, a current, um, very, uh, what's, what's that word called? Very visible and very popular NBA player is definitely something that you shouldn't be doing in the slightest. And it's made even worse because the kid, if I'm not mistaken, comes from a pretty good background. Like he was raised in a pretty decent family in a good neighborhood and whatnot. And by all accounts, he never was a real troublemaker. So to suddenly in your like mid twenties or early twenties to suddenly turn into some goon is really cringy. You see a lot online, which I'm liking. As much as people like to kind of proliferate or kind of, you know, egg on this whole gang culture thing with documentaries and shit online, you do see this meme online with people taking a piss out of certain people who like join gangs in their late 20s. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of r worded. Um, for the most part, you would imagine, you know, from even me being in like bad neighborhoods, most of the kids that end up in gangs, it's not necessarily something you do to kind of show off and be cool. It's just something that happens because of the, you know, the environment you're in. And sometimes you you don't even realize you're in the gang un until you're in one because your friends are just your friends they just you know you don't even think about them as gang you just kind of people you hanged around with since you were like five or six years old so it's for kids who grew up in circumstances that didn't require them to roll in groups of packs of gangs of people to protect themselves to go from living in a private to living in a good area being in a private school but then want to adopt all that lifestyle someone that will live in those kind of neighborhoods is really bizarre it doesn't make any sense people are obviously going crazy over it so close to the bbc Ja Morant, Memphis Grizzlies guard, takes full responsibility as NBA investigates social media video. Memphis Grizzlies star Ja Morant says he takes full responsibility um, for his actions as the NBA investigates a video that appears to show him holding a gun in a nightclub. Oh, that's good. I thought he was at home, so he's in a nightclub. God, it's IT. All, um, all star guard Morant, 23, appeared to hold up a handgun in a live broadcast on Instagram page on Saturday. It occurred hours after the Grizzlies lost. <laughs> They lost as well. Imagine, man, the goal and some professional athletes nowadays have like no shame. I talk about even footballers being the same thing. You'll see these footballers like my team, Man United, we lost flipping 7-0 to our worst rivals, our most fiercest rivals, Liverpool. And you'll see some of these flipping Man United players posting videos of them in the club somewhere, driving their car, doing this, that just with their, like not having a care in the world how this might affect the fans. For me as a fan, I can't watch football for the next week. I skip watching match of the day. I'm not watching match of the day. I'm not watching the highlights. I'm going to avoid all social media and football stuff. I'm blanking it all out. That's how much it hurts me. But the players, they don't give a crap. You know what I mean? This guy was in a club brandishing guns, throwing up gang signs when the Grizzlies just lost. <laughs> He's like, what? Moran, who's been suspended for at least two games, apologizes and says that he would get help. He says... I take full responsibility for my actions last night. Um, I'm sorry to my family, to my teammates, to my coaches, to my fans, partners, the city of Memphis and the entire Grizzlies organizations for letting them down. I'm going to take some time away to get help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well-being. Stress. Come on. Are they going to try to turn him being infatuated with gang culture into mental health, into a mental health thing? It's not. He's just a dumb kid. And if anything, it's not, it shouldn't be a surprise. If all these rappers nowadays, the most popular ones especially, especially guys from the drill scene, they're legitimately, I wouldn't say glorifying, but their lifestyle is that, right? They're going, they're spinning the block, they're, 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 they're lining up ops and stuff, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. It's no surprise that young kids growing up are also going to maybe, you know, fantasize about that lifestyle, especially if you're not from it. It's going to be a little bit more romantic, a little bit more like, you know, uh, starry-eyed to you than actually people that live that, that life for real, for real. So I kind of get it. But to kind of spin it as a mental health thing is not really taking accountability. If anything, you're sort of uh, pushing accountability or responsibility to those bad gangster people. No, gangsters are always going to exist. Goons are always going to exist. It's up to you if you've grown up in a good environment with good parenting to make the good decision. What? Because again, that's his parents must be super pissed off because his parents probably did everything right. They put him in the right school. They probably didn't even beat him at home. They, you know, they treat him like an adult. They gave him loads of personal responsibility. And just now, when he just signs a big contract, he's got a shoe with Nike. The flipping, you know, the world's his oyster. 
right? His highlights on on YouTube and in Twitter are racking the thousands of views. Even his sister, who plays women's basketball, his sister, right? His sister's getting a bit of the clout from him. That's how famous he's getting. You're, you're, you're becoming so famous, your siblings get some of your rub, right? So you're lifting everybody up at once. Everybody's becoming a multimillionaire because of you. And then this is the time he decides to start brandishing guns and start playing fug and all that malarkey. That's not mental health. That's just you being an idiot. Take responsibility and stop. Do you know what I mean? Leave it alone. It's not for you. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. NBA spokesperson Mike Bass said, we're aware of social media posts involving John Moran and we are investigating. In a statement, the Memphis Star, uh, sorry, the Memphis Grizzly said that John Moran will be away for the team <laughs> for the next two games. That's what, it, it, that's what it takes. It only takes two games to not be a goon. After pretending to be a goon and trying to say you're riding out on ops, and what is it? What's he gonna do? Is he make? A, is he gonna make a a diss track against that NBA commissioner, the guy that's got like the pencil neck with a bald head? After doing with that, all it takes is two days of de of deconditioning, two days of him watching really wholesome videos of like Kobe Bryant, watching clips of like of like I don't know Magic Johnson doing some philanthropy, um, watching highlights of Michael Jordan working out in the gym, or rewatching that fucking Chicago Bulls um documentary on Netflix. That's all it takes. And then he's gonna come back. He's gonna be like, "I'm new now. I'm focusing on the game." It's like, come on, man. Um, the Grizzlies are, are the second in the Western Conference. They face Los Angeles Clippers on Sunday, the Los Angeles Lakers on Tuesday. In the next two game, Morant is averaging 27.1 points and 8.2 assists per game this season, and made his second consecutive All Star appearances last month. But yeah, it's all him. It's it's an idiot move. I've, I don't think I've never seen it in my in life in real time. Somebody hustling backwards, like you get given everything and then you just like fumble it. If anything, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Brendan Schaub, right? The fact that Brendan Schaub kind of got every cosign, the best introduction into the game and still manages to mess it up. That's a similar kind of thing. But this is even worse because when you come from like black, the black community, you making it in sports and become a professional athlete, regardless if you went to, went to private school, that is like... Uh, that is like a generation. That's like a generational change in circumstances. If you if you do right by your sport, by your talent, by your gifts, you can legitimately uplift your entire family for generations to come. Like you can set the precedent. Like look at LeBron James, right? I mean that his kids, 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 kids are set for life, all because he knows how to fucking you know throw a fucking ball into a hoop. That's what he can do for you. He can really take you from like zero to whatever else at the top. So the fact that he's willfully and willingly <laughs> pissing it all up a wall is hilarious like hilarious <laughs> literally hilarious and i think for once his family like rung the emergency bell they got everybody involved uncles aunties extended families ex-pros friends in the media they all probably did an intervention and said look guy you cannot mess this up like you are legit not even a breadwinner you are like the the person that's going to be giving everybody an opportunity to kind of make something for themselves like i said before his sister is getting hype on social media because she plays basketball and they look similar she's getting a rub there's probably an auntie in his community that's opened a restaurant because of the money he gave her and she's using his face to market the thing on social media and people are blo like all these things are happening because he just plays basketball really well and he's kind of got all these responsibilities now with other people that he has to look after obviously himself also but he has to keep that in mind so to willfully and willingly do what he's doing now is legitimately hilarious to me because I, I don't know why sometimes when i see people like fucking up on purpose when they don't have any reason to it's like wow man you're doing this like with full consciousness and i don't like the flipping mental health spin again too many people kind of leaning on mental health just take responsibility you messed up you did a wrong you did an oopsie do right and kind of correct it going forward but you know maybe he actually wants to be that guy maybe this is actually him going forward you never actually know so maybe you're kind of denying him to actually you're denying him of the ability to kind of be his actual true self maybe that's the thing you're doing to someone like that you're denying him the ability to be his actual true self you're just kind of you know leaving him to be there somewhere else i think nah man just embrace it